Hey team, it's Grace from Graceful Bricks. And today, I wanted to share a video with you. I haven't shared a lot of videos lately, and that's primarily because I've been working on a big project. Well, a small project. Okay, it's a big project, but with small pieces. Let me explain. When LEGO was getting the patent for its very first 2x4 brick, they were asked how many different combinations could you make with just 2x4 bricks? How many different ways could you build it? And they said, well, right now at our factory, we have several hundred thousand ways to stack just six bricks. But since then, the number of ways that you can stack t six 2x4 bricks has exploded thanks to computers and mathematics probing how many different ways you can stack these six bricks. Almost 200 million different ways. That's a lot of bricks. And at the Lego house in Billund, Denmark, they are slowly building every combination, all nearly 200 million. They are building them at a, with each of the visitors. They're given a unique build and they put it together and then they can actually take those six bricks home. Now, they're doing it slowly, but I wondered, could I do it quicker if I just pulled every single two by four brick I could get my hands on? How many combinations could I actually do? So I decided to try that. So I bought a box of bricks. 1,500 of them, in fact. And I wanted to see how many bricks that actually has. How many 2x4s are in this box of 1,500 bricks? Opening a box, opening a box, gonna open a Lego box. <gasps> Ooh, look! 2x4s in red. Blue, yellow, brown, lime green. Okay, I'm going to have to start working on this, figure out how many 2x4s I actually get. Ooh, that's a lot of brick. And the answer is 48. That's how many bricks I got extra in out of the 1,500. But wait, I didn't just buy one box. Oh, I bought two. Two boxes of 1,500 bricks. So I have 96 two by four bricks. Now let's see what some of those six brick towers look like. This, this is a six brick tower. You can tell because it's got six bricks. And it stands. But this, this is also a six brick tower. Notice the amazing difference between the two. They have a little similarity there. And this, this one right here, that's also a six brick tower. Small variations create something completely unique. Like this. Or you could even have a tower that's not really even a tower. It could be flat. It could be low to the ground. It could be really long and not even all the bricks, the uh, bricks touch. You could even have a tower that doesn't even stand up. It lays on the ground. You could have a short squat tower. You could have a taller tower. You could have a weird funky tower. Or you could have a tower that's more like a window even. As long as it's got six bricks, there are endless ways to do them. And the color of the bricks 
doesn't matter either. There's just endless ways to put these together, but how many combinations regardless of color? So I've got a few towers with 96 bricks. No, 92 bricks. My math wasn't very good, sorry guys. But I'm gonna need more if I'm gonna try and get anywhere close to 200 million. Fortunately, I am a Lego artist. So I've got bags of red bricks, green bricks, purple bricks, blue bricks and another box full of yellow black dark gray lime green more yellow white I've even got weird colors like lilac and teal transparent bricks this dusty blue color sand green I know it doesn't make sense, but that's what it's called. And dark green. Tan bricks. Darker tan bricks. That's a lot of bricks. Now, we need to just put them together. But where? I don't have enough room in my Lego art studio. It's mainly filled with, you know, Lego. And my living room is not an option. My partner's made that clear. So, where am I gonna build these? I need to look outside of my comfort zone in my house to find a place where I can build as many two by four, six brick towers as possible. But look at this, I have a space. One of the businesses locally saw my post and they said, hey, you could use our space. And so, I am. And in their basement, look at this floor. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Let's get started building six brick towers. started here with my lavender purple. You can see how they're slightly different each of them. They almost have a progression as they work along. So we're gonna keep going. for about an hour. I might have to take a break soon because I'm going to be interviewed by Logo Radio. But here's what I've done so far. I would suspect that I'm, I have done over 100. And there is still... Things are knocking over. There is still... A lot more room on this sheet so we are maybe a fifth of the way done the sheet yeah and I still and that's in an hour so I got a lot more work in front of me wish me luck so these two guys run a uh, podcast but it's got video and they do live streams it's really cool um they interview local people they talk about local issues which is great for a small town like timmins up here in the north and uh, i'm gonna link to their uh webcast uh that has my content in it uh in the description so you guys can check it out and see what they uh what they said
basically filled this giant banquet tablecloth, uh, which has taught me several things. A, that's a huge area to fill. B, I am not as young as I once was. My back hurts. My bum is sore. My legs are uncomfortable. You know, there used to be days where I could sit and just build on the floor. Those days are over. I need to be building at a desk. So after I'm done today, and I'm pretty close to done, uh, I'm definitely going to go home and soak in a hot bath and uh, recuperate because tomorrow's another day. And with any luck, I will fill a second sheet tomorrow. And maybe that'll be all the bricks I have. I don't know. I, I'm getting pretty, pretty low. Let me show you. So these are all the bags that have been emptied. But then we look over here. I still got uh, two big bags of red, two white, one green. Still got some black, uh, some other colors in here. It's not a huge amount. It should fill up the second sheet, but I think that's all I have in terms of what I'm able to do. So we will find out how much, how many combinations I can do and what kind of an area that takes. But look at all of these, right? All the different weird permutations of each uh, variety here in different colors just because I didn't have enough of one color to do a whole thing and up here right where I began lavender it's a lot of bricks all right Let's see what happens next. Well, I am back for a second day. Uh, all my Lego looks great. Looks like it had a good sleep last night. That's fantastic. I am also well rested. Uh, I was quite sore yesterday since I am no longer a 13 year old and able to sit on the floor all day. 
Uh, so I think next time if I do this sort of thing, I'm definitely gonna need a desk. <laughs> Several desks to put all the, the Lego on. Um, but uh, for today, I think we should be just fine. And let's see how this goes today. finishing this project. Uh, the red is where I started today. I had a huge bag of red bricks so I got all the red, I got some lime green in there, I got some white up here, my personal favorite color, the teal or whatever the heck Lego calls it but I call it teal. So we are well on our way to filling this second sheet right here. I have that little pile of bricks right there that I have to use. And then right down here, I have this little pile of bricks that I got to use too. So... We are going to finish this project today. We're going to end up filling two banquet size table sheets, tablecloths. And then the process begins. I have to count it all. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that, but we're going to figure it out. So let's take a moment and appreciate it in all its glory. Two banquet sheets full. Let's take a little zoom in here if we will. See what some of these look like. You may be asking yourself, Grace, how do you know you didn't make duplicates? Well, 
It's actually kind of simple. The reason I know I didn't make duplicates is because every time I did a pattern, let's say there's six bricks, which of course there are, I would leave the first five exactly as they were. And then I would only move the sixth. And there's only so many spots you can move the sixth. And then after that, I'd move the fifth, just one spot. And then I'd repeat all those different spots with the sixth. And I'd do that until I'd move the fifth into every spot that it could. And move the sixth into every spot for every spot that the fifth had moved. Then I'd move the fourth, and then I'd start again. I'd move the fifth into a position, and then move the sixth through all of its positions, and so on, and so on. So actually, it's quite easy not to repeat. The tricky thing is remembering what pattern you're on. All right, folks, I have tallied up how many of these towers I have. And I have almost 1,400 of them. I have 1,368. That's close enough to 1,400, I think. Give or take 30, that's nothing. 1,368, that's a lot. I'm really off, like that, that makes me proud. I'm very proud of this achievement. It's a lot of bricks. It took a lot of time. It took me about 10 hours to do all of these. Couldn't do it in one day. It was a two day process. And I'm really happy. <laughs> um, I think that this is just really cool. Uh, being able to work through all of the various permutations uh, was really interesting. I found it funny. I got through about three quarters and I suddenly realized I could build underneath a brick. <laughs> I've been building only studs on studs on studs and I suddenly realized I could go studs on studs under studs. <laughs> Hadn't occurred to me. I'd been building only up. I realized I could also build down and then up. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, so this was my first try at this. I'm hoping to collect more bricks. Uh, I'm hoping to repeat this again and see if we can maybe get to 2,000 uh, combinations. That would be great. Unfortunately, that will require like... Another 600 bricks times six. So that's 3,600 bricks. Let's make it an even 4,000. I need another 4,000 bricks to get to 2,000 permutations. Um, so that's going to take some work because putting my hands on another 4,000 bricks, even at 10 cents a piece, which is cheap, um, that's 400 bucks. So it's going to take me some time, uh, but I'm hoping that maybe in the future I'll be able to do this uh, as like a public event uh, at a street fair or at a con uh, convention or a brick con, uh, maybe with a city government or with a public school or a high school. Those would be all really cool options, uh, and I'd love to do that because I love taking my Lego out and interacting with people. But, uh, yeah. That's it for today. Let's just have some more sweet shots of all these bricks. <laughs>
And that, my folks, is the end of that. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching Graceful Bricks as I tried to build as many six brick towers as possible. As always, try and smile if you can. Try to be nice to people and stay safe. I love you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.